Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Say hi, Pascal. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on a Mercedes that you don't see every day, as I was just pointed out to say. Anyway, a lot of history of this car. I'm sure you read the description and things like that, but anytime there's a car built as a replica, right, you know that the car that it's replicating was a very expensive car, right? Cobras, for instance, 427 Cobras selling for millions of dollars. These right here, there's so few of them built that uh, the last one hasn't changed hands in five or six years, right? And the last one sold maybe way back for seven million. Not sure if anything's changed hands since the last time I looked, but there are not, and that's why these are cool cars. This car going down the road looks like nothing else on the planet. The design by Ferdinand uh, a Porsche uh, before he started his own company. This was originally replicated from the Mercedes SSK, and in this case here, it rides on a GM chassis. Right? And you say, well, why would I want a GM chassis? Well, let me tell you why you want a GM chassis, because they spent millions of dollars developing the chassis, and this car was built on an assembly line by the same people every day, right? And you want that. You don't want a kit car built from a Volkswagen front end and a GM rear end and a, a Volvo transmission and what have you. You don't want that because you know what? That's really difficult to take care of for long term. This right here has disc brakes. It has rack and pinion steering. It has air conditioning. It has a convertible top. It has all the modern amenities with with a cool looking car to go along with it and it continues to uh, be able to be serviceable because all these parts are all available, all right? So as we walk around the car and we look at how great the two-tone paint is and we look at these cool uh, yellow fog lights, you know, these right here uh, were a big thing uh, all the way from the 20s to the 70s. I don't know why we got rid of them because they look so great, but maybe that's why they look so great because you don't see them anymore. These great air horns, check out this big Ugo horn right here. It sounds even better. The style is just fabulous, right? Well taken care of, radial tires, uh, wire wheels that are nice and shiny, all the detail stuff in here. Wait till we get inside the car because inside the car is super comfortable, all right? And uh, I think it needs one small upgrade and that's a stereo. We'll talk about that once we get inside. All right, so look at this right here. I love these, the, those exhaust ports that originally were there. All right, so look under here for a second. Modern GM power right? Air conditioning compressors, modern air conditioning, right? Modern battery, modern dual diagonal braking system in here. All this stuff is modern because you want a car like this that you can get in, you can go for a drive. If it needs some service, not a big deal. All these parts are still available. It's not like you're trying to buy parts for a 75 year old or 100 year old Mercedes SSK and they're made of unobtainium. So we have our storage back here, all right? And inside here, I didn't take the top, the tonneau cover off, but in here is the top, the side curtains, place for soft luggage and baggage, all kinds of stuff in there. This is a car you want to go away on a weekend with because it has some modern amenities. It has a convertible top with windows, right? So that you can, uh, so that you can enjoy it somewhere. What if you get caught in the rain? Not a big deal. It's got windshield wipers. Back here, this is great because you can take the kids in the car here. Look at this, it's got seat belts in the rear right? Seat belts, or you can throw the dog back there, the cat back there, or maybe you like baby goats. I love baby goats, so we can put a baby goat back there. Have you ever seen the baby goat's hooves and you rub their head and they got the little tiny horns on them? If you've ever been to a baby goat farm, sorry, I'm digressing. Anyway, so the interior of the car, sorry, and I got unfocused. I need to get back in the game. Let's get inside the car and check it out. All right, so come on in here for a second. Check this out. So full array of vintage gauges, 7,692 miles showing on this since it's total build which is pretty amazing when you think about it. It has a 17 digit VIN, so you should be able to title this in any state in the country. Uh, here's the air conditioning vents, automatic transmission, so everybody in the house can drive the car, right? This right here is an old school radio. 
It's up to you whether you want to leave it there or we put a modern system in there or we leave this here and we hide a modern system in the back so you can have streams of music, some tunes and what have you. Um, other than that, you got things like tilt wheel and you got turn signals, you got wipers, you got wind wings, we got a convertible top, we got mirrors, so we have a lot of modern stuff in a cool, cool wrapped around body. All right, so we close up this beautiful car. Magnolia cream paint, chocolate trim, tan bucket seat, leather interior, all these gauges in here, air conditioning, automatic, disc brakes, rack and pendant steering, uh, convertible top with side windows and curtains in it. I mean, just, this is a cool car, man. You take this out, this car looks cool inside this showroom because it's amongst other supermodels, but out on the road, it is one of a kind, spectacular. If you don't like this everywhere you go, don't buy this car because you know what? Everyone's gonna wanna talk to you about it. Everyone's gonna ask some questions and it's just such a great people person, fun, driving, exciting car. All right, so don't forget to call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Mercedes SSK replica. And uh, listen, if you've ever been in some cool cars like this, let's comment on them below. It's, uh, I would love to chit chat about it. Don't forget to click on the link as well. That's right there. And you can check out prices, descriptions, and some other cars that we have. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.